Hey, my name is Ralph, and today I want to show you how you can create a simple VR application in Unity 3D. This tutorial will focus on the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, or Windows Mixed Reality headsets. If you want to create a mobile app, you will have to follow another tutorial or wait for me to make one. So now let's get started with the tutorial. The first thing you need to do is download the newest Unity version, which for me is 17.2.0 F3. And after you download it, you start it, and there will be a starting screen where you enter your project name, and then you click on Create Project. After the project has loaded, you will be greeted with the Unity main screen. On the main screen, you select File, Build Settings, Player Settings, and under XR Settings, we tell Unity that we want to create a virtual reality supported app. And under the SDKs, we will use the OpenVR SDK, so you delete the Oculus because the OpenVR SDK will be supported on every headset, but remember, it won't be supported on uh, the Oculus VR store. Next, we go to File, Save Scene As, and give a name to the scene we are currently working on. After we have saved our scene in the project window, you will see a new icon with our saved scene. Next, we go into the hierarchy window, click on Create, 3D Object, Plane, which will be our floor. And now we select the plane, and we go on the right window under Transform, we set a scale, which is X direction 1000 and C direction also 1000, which will make it one kilometer by one kilometer. Then we go to create under the project window and we click on material and we give it a name, call it floor. But now it's white only, so we give it a new color by going on the top right under albedo click on it and give it a color, which will be our floor. I will give it a green, so it's kind of a grass kind of thing, but you can choose whatever color you want. Now that we have created our material, we select our plane, click another time on it, so we rename it to floor. And now we want to assign the material, so we select the material and drag it onto the floor object. Now you can see our floor is green. But we don't just want to have a floor, so we create new objects by clicking on Create, 3D Objects and Cube. This cube is now a basis for many objects we can interact with. So we select the cube and on the right we give it a scale of 0.2 on the X, the Y and the Z axis, which will be 20 centimeters. And the position on the Y we give it 0.1. Now if you press the F key, you can focus in on the currently selected object, which is our cube. You can also scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, or hold the Alt and the left mouse button to fly around the object, or you hold the middle mouse button to pan the camera around. Now we go again to the Create menu in the Project window, click on Create and another material. This material we will call cube. We take the material again, give it a color, which is now going to be some kind of a red. And afterwards, you take the material again and you drag it onto the cube. Now the cube is red. The next step is creating two spheres, which will be our hands. And we, after we have created a sphere, we go on the right, give it a new scale of 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and the position is 0, 0, 0. Now we select our sphere and we rename it to left hand, and we click on Control D to duplicate it, and we rename the second one to right hand. We select both, and in the right window on a sphere collider, click on the gear and remove component. We do this because we don't want any collision on our hands. To set up our input controllers, we go to Edit, Project Settings and Input. This will open up the Input Manager window where we select the horizontal, we right click on it, we select Duplicate Array Element and the newly created item we will rename to Trigger Left. We also set the type axis to joystick axis and the axis number to 11th axis. 
We take our trigger left element, click duplicate array element again, then we rename the new duplicated element to trigger right, and we change the axis number to axis 12. With this step, we have set up the input controller trigger buttons so we can now grab objects. If you want to learn more about setting up input controls, you can go to the Unity documentation. I will have a link in the description if you want to check it out so you can map your own buttons and own functions. The next step is we go into the project window and we right click on it and import new asset, which will be the hand grabbing dot cs script i will have it in the description and you can download it what it essentially does is it updates our position of the hands and the rotation and it also is able to allow us to throw and grab objects and if you want to learn more about programming i recommend you to learn more about c sharp but for now it's just enough to take our script and import it into our project after we have imported our script, we select both of our created left and right hand objects and we drag the script into the right window inspector. Now we select the left hand, go into input name field on the right and we write trigger left, which we have assigned before. Then under node type, we select left hand and we go to the right hand object, type in the input name trigger right and under no type we select right hand. Now we are almost done. We just need to know if we can grab an object or if it's not grabbable. To do this we select our cube and in inspector we select tag, add tag and we create a new tag and call it grab. After we have created a tag we also need to assign it so we select the cube again and in the tag we select grab. Now if we have done everything correctly we should be able to press play, put on our headset and see our hands. And also we should be able to grab the cube and throw it away. If you have followed along, congratulations, you now have just created your first virtual reality app. Obviously this is just a really basic application, but you can certainly build upon this. For example, you can really integrate the Steam VR SDK, which is currently used, but you are using the Unity API integration. So if you want to have some native features that are unique to the Steam VR API, you will have to integrate this. If you want to see how you can integrate the Steam VR API or the Oculus SDK, I can make a video, just leave a comment. And if there's enough people who want to see this, I will definitely be open to make a tutorial on that. Other than that, thank you for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe. It always helps me. And if you like this video, you can also leave a like and definitely also check out my other videos i'm currently developing a vr game it's called infinity disk and you can check out my devlogs and also expect more tutorials in the future to come um, i'm really happy to make them and until then see you then bye bye